When the sprinters run in California, it tends to not get big fields. This year, there isn't much true speed, and the field might bunch up. And in a competitive race, ground loss could decide it. American Theorem has run the three best races of his life by far at Del Mar, but we're at Santa Anita. He's also usually unbelievably wide. Dr. Scheibel always runs well, except when they asked him to go past six furlongs. He was very wide at Del Mar and earned a much better figure than the chosen Vron. This guy is locally based and likely to run his race when others here do not, which makes him a contender. Well, by now we've gotten all the information on East Coast shippers and mod horses specifically that we're going to get. And you can see why it matters. Elite power was good last year, but this year has been a monster. And it hasn't been obvious because he's been spotting weight, racing wide, and facing good night, who's pretty good in his own right. On one of his big ones, Elite power would probably take this even with a wide trip. But this horse started his campaign last winter, and that last one may be a sign he's starting to tail off even before you factor in the east-west ship. Gennite has run negative figures in all seven starts this year. He ran an enormous figure when he lost to Elite Power in the slop at Saratoga, then beat him despite going back a couple of points. So he was effectively coming off an 0-2 at Parks, and he still didn't run that bad that day. Right after that race, Asbuston brought him to California, and Gennite has had six weeks to rest and acclimate. As previously noted, Asmussen is one of the trainers who does get results in this situation, and we think the Knight is the horse to beat here. Dallas Stewart has pulled off some big upsets in big races, and he's trying for another one here. Horse to Gold is an interesting horse. He was developing nicely through those two good ones in Kentucky this spring before tailing off over the summer, including two poor efforts at Delmore. But in his last, he suddenly broke through with a new top. And if you ignore those summer races, this is a pretty good pattern. Also note this horse ran a top shipping to Santa Anita, and that was during the winter. One more thing. If you want to see a similar sheet, here's a horse that ran in the 2002 Breeders' Cup. So the sample size isn't big. Wesley Ward is one guy who has gotten dirt horses to run in these races. Nakatomi finished behind Host the Gold at Keeneland while running about the same figure. And though this one is less heavily raced, they are both four-year-olds and roughly similar in both ability and pattern. The public often thinks a horse needs a race to be at his best coming off a layoff, and that his next start will be better. In fact, the opposite is often true. Horses usually get time off because they have soundness issues and the rest helps. So unsound horses run well fresh. Then, once they resume dealing with the stress of racing, their issues flare up again. <clears throat> Speedboat Beach fired a big one in his debut, then tailed off. It was a tricky read because he raced on grass. After that, he disappeared for 10 months, and we do not think he was vacationing in the Bahamas. When he returned, Soundless issues behind him. He broke through with a big new top. Could he throw another now? Maybe. But it's likely that that one did some damage, just as the two-year-old effort did, and that he will start heading south. Speedboat Beach is probably going to be the wise guy horse, and we don't want him as one of the favorites. The connections of the chosen Vron have made the most out of his moderate ability by managing the heck out of him. He's locally based and should run well for him, but that's likely to get him just a minor check at best. Three technique has bounced every time he has run a top, so we'd expect him to back up even without the east-west ship. In the sprint, we won't be using Speedboat Beach or the chosen run higher than third. Dr. Scheibel and Goodnight will be on a lot of our tickets, and Nakatomi and Hoist of Gold are long shots who could get a piece of this. We'll decide about elite power based on how Mott's horses are running. 